What's up everyone, this is Spike Robot here with another video, this time a live review of Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry is an action crime thriller movie that was released on December 23rd, 1971. This is one of Clint Eastwood's most famous movies. Does it deserve that reputation or not? This review will answer that question. I will start, as always, with a story. The story follows police inspector Harry Callahan, who has a very aggressive approach to police work, willingly using his 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun. But this movie focuses primarily on Harry's case with a psycho named Scorpio, who is constantly making rights threats to the San police of San Francisco and killing people at random. Harry is dead set on stopping Scorpio, but the police do almost nothing to, to find him. This story is really fucking good. There are actually quite a few movies that have the protagonist not be all that interesting and even be kind of bland. And have the antagonist be the most entertaining part of the movie. Hell. Hell, there, there may even be times where you might actually sympathize with the antagonist rather than the protagonist. But Dirty Harry is not one of those movies. As a matter of fact, it's the complete opposite. The, per the protagonist, in this case, it's Harry, is by far the best character in the fucking movie. He is so relatable. Well... And he is anything but prejudice. It does, does not matter what your race is. If you, if, you do something, if you do something fucked up, he will call you out on your bullshit. Last but certainly not, and last but certainly not least, he's just a badass, especially with his 44 Magnum. The antagonist, in this case, Scorpio is not likable at all. He's a fucking sociopath. His evil acts are not even entertainingly evil. They are straight up horrible. You are a sick motherfucker if you think that it is delightfully evil that he hijacks a school, a school bus and basically threatens to kill the bus driver Ivor, if she does not go where she wants him to go, and is even meaner than any bully he, when he, he to the children on the bus. That is something that a terrorist would do. <sighs> two more things: one, he's he is actually prejudiced, and two, he's not even a well-written character. There is literally nothing to like about him. What the hell does this mean? What the hell does all this mean? Well, it means that the movie genuinely sets its morality with the right people. The reason I pointed out so many fucking times is because I feel under people underestimate how important this really is. They are, they are distracted by how well written the characters are, and that allows them to gloss over the fact that these characters are horrible people. Besides, any medium that puts its morality with the wrong per people is straight up horrible. Another fascinating aspect of the movie, and, I, and that's probably even more fascinating, is the fact that it seems to be questioning police and authority in general. Most of the cops seem to stand stand around and and talk. Most of the cops just seem to stand around and talk and do nothing about the Scorpio case. This is actually pretty accurate to how police act in the real world. When when Harry 
turns Scorpio in. The court says is they don't have enough evidence to against him. Um, um, but all the while, the evidence is right there. It's right fucking there. He he already killed a girl, and yet the court the courts do do not convict him of anything. There is actually some truth to that situation. And when Harry throws his badge into the river, you can completely understand why he would. To be blunt, I would have thrown it in as well. That is so fucking powerful. But why does he choose to stay in the police business? Well, even he doesn't know Oh, the answers to that question. Now, as an action movie, it has a satisfying, albeit not very organized, amount of action. Mostly consisting of gunplay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I love the hell out of guns. And hey, what makes the movie better is it has a kind of raw style to it. Even for 71. As for the production values, the cinematography is pretty good, the editing is competent, the art direction, the art direction is all right. The music is also all right. Um, on the one hand, it does have some 70s urban style music, which works pretty well with the atmosphere. On the other hand. There is not a whole, whole lot of it. it, but then again, this is kind of more of an understated movie to begin with. But I will say, I love the ending score. It sounds somewhat somber. Overall, Dirty Harry is a pretty good movie. With an excellent story, with a unique style, and a satisfying amount of violence. There, are, the downsides are the fact that the movie can be a little too slow at times, and the production values is are not really amazing, despite some high points. But I still really like this movie, and it is a Clint Eastwood essential. Oh. And it overall makes you think. And I am definitely giving it props for that. I give Dirty Harry four, 4 out of 5 stars with the title of Awesome. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. Thank you all for watching. And uh, see you next time.